Have some beauty in the sky because on the ground, Western North Carolina continues its long road to recovery. Governor Roy Cooper joined in Asheville today by the EPA administrator to talk about plans to restore Asheville's water system. Fox Carolina's Kennedy Harris was there and shares their message tonight. This was an unprecedented disaster. Days turning into weeks, residents in and around Asheville still without water. This is a disaster that we have not seen the likes of before. And today has been a day of listening. And that's what Governor Roy Cooper and EPA Administrator Michael Regan did. Learning how local crews go through the process of removing hazardous materials from the water and testing samples for quality. We know water had never come, had never come before where it came. And we have to take that into account as we work to rebuild and repair these water systems. City and county officials say they are making progress in restoring water in and around Asheville. However, a full system restoration is still weeks away. Signs of progress Thursday. Utility crews reconnecting the North Fork Reservoir's 36-inch bypass to Asheville's water distribution system. This is a significant milestone in our ability to begin the process of water restoration. It doesn't mean residents will see water anytime soon because there are a number of large-scale repairs still needed. Officials say things could have been worse if a new dam wasn't put in place a few years back. The design was extremely important. Uh, before the storm, Asheville was producing some of the cleanest water in the country. And we know that significant additional investment is needed to create a more resilient system. Kennedy Harris, Fox Carolina News. The EPA set up a mobile command center to continue monitoring water quality and assisting those local crews. Uh, they could not give a definite timeline for when the water system will be fully restored.